What you're looking at right now is not recorded by me. It's my AI clone. Every word, every movement, and every expression you're seeing right now has been generated by AI. And here's the best part. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make your own AI clone by yourself. So stick around, because this tutorial will blow your mind. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting tutorials like this. All right, let's dive in. Step 1. Open HitPaw at Amacore. Before we start, we need one software that I used in this video, HitPaw at Amacore. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can find the link in the description below. Step 2. Record video. Now we need two things. One, a clear video recorded from the front of yourself. And two, a clear sounding audio of yourself. You can just record a video like this and upload this video in Edimacore. HitPaw Edimacore is a versatile AI video editor. It supports a wide range of file formats and has tools driven by AI. Now export it as audio, which will be used to clone your voice. Now, let's move on to the next step. Step three, clone yourself. Let's head over to AI Avatar. First, clone your voice. Click here. It will open a new panel that allows you to choose an AI voice. Let's jump over it and directly go to my voice. Under that, you can see it allows you to clone your voice. Here, click import audio file and upload the audio we just saved. After it's done, name it and save it. And it will be saved in your voice library. You can use it anytime you want. Now let's clone your appearance. Here, upload your recording video and click confirm. Wait for it to be processed. And now you have yourself cloned by AI. Step four, make it talk. Select your voice in the voice library. Select your avatar appearance and type anything you want to say in the text box. Click generate. And that's it. That's the final result. HitPaw Edimacore is a versatile AI video editor. It supports a wide range of file formats and has tools driven by AI. In other words, it's an effective tool for both new and experienced video editors. Isn't that great? If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can tell me in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.